Jenkins, uh, product designer at Grainicles, and I'm just here to talk to you today a little bit about the Supernova Infrared, which is a new bat, a new family, as part of the 2019 range. So what goes into designing a bat family? The starting point clearly is the bat itself, and um, one of the key considerations with the Supernova was to make sure that it occupied a real uh, mid place within the range so that it, it isn't of itself a mid bladed profile it isn't particularly extreme it has a very nice long sweeping exaggerated mid profile to make sure that it's good uh, for versatile all round stroke play uh, the key consideration with the stickers then was to make sure that we complemented that and didn't fight against it so from what you'd come to expect from Grey Nichols which is the long sweeping brown sticker that follows down into the family sticker itself which is the black to red gradiented sticker really just a very long thin band that complements the, the exaggerated profile and hopefully just make sure it, it looks as dominating as possible. So if you were watching the last video that we put together on this process, um, we're obviously covering the Shockwave family and um, what I mentioned there holds very much true for, for this family too. The starting point for me, once the bat shape is established, is the identity of the family and clearly with the, the supernova what we try to uh, imply is this explosive radiating power. So again, coming back to the graphics, what I was looking to do was come up with a, a geometric pattern, in this case hexagons, which you can repeat across the board, but also informs how you can have this explosive star effect. So you always get the sense that lurking within the bat there is this power that will emanate forth when you need it most. So looking at the actual pattern itself, Uh, it's, it's not so much of a repeat pattern in this instance, or we did apply that for the soft, it's more about a hexagonal use of patterns generally, uh, which again implies galaxies, stars, power explosions, so they're the motifs that we look to run through the actual bat family this year. Another new graphic motif that we've looked to introduce this year is, is a slight change to how we present the family grade stickers. So, talked a little bit about the actual uh, look of the family name, well that's housed within a, a kind of a shattered pattern again. So a little bit of a design one trick pony, I like the idea of things exploding and shattering because again it just implies the actual strength of the product and the power within it. So in this case uh, it is a shape which is designed to actually hug the name so that it's not just a name that's floating within a sea of, of, of colour like a black background sticker, it is very much about framing the name and making sure that it implies that explosive effect of it. So one of the key visual motifs of the Supernova family is this red flash that runs throughout the whole collection. Uh, it's something which is obviously synonymous with Grey Nichols anyway, but I thought that really it would be nice to have something that just uh, was really epitomising the Supernova range and, and to tie everything together. So you get the flash on the bat, you also get it running through the soft of the collection, so in the case of the actual batting gloves themselves, what is hopefully a very recognisable theme of the red running all the way down those middle fingers, mirroring the actual arrangement of the graphics on the bat. So once again with the soft good collection we've got the leg guards and it's this uh, continuation game, the red flash that runs through it with the unified motif of hexagonal pattern just to give it that, that touchstone of recognition and obviously the graphic of the name unique with the actual grade of the, the product itself so we can see what the hierarchy is there and hopefully yeah just creating a family which top to bottom has that touchstone of the, of the same graphic feel. But my favourite uh, wiki keeping product we did recently was a supernova wiki keeping glove of it would have been about 2014, 2015, and I really like the fact that the, the black framed and complemented the colour, which in, in that iteration was blue. Uh, traditionally, with the keeping belt, obviously white, and so it's quite nice to do something a little different. Uh, we went for a gun metal finish, so it wasn't strictly speaking black, but it certainly has that dark, imposing look, and that's something we look to follow through this year as well. So, again, the red flash, but with a really sort of quite dark and dominating um, overall appearance. So, when designing luggage collections to complement families, uh, we've not obviously overtly pinned our luggage collection to our families this year because we wanted to make sure that those those bags took the test of time really and weren't linked to a specific annual collection. Uh, in this case though we wanted some of the colours to be referenced so you'll see with some of the collection that there is a dark black aesthetic with red running through it and um, just try to make sure that the functionality is as good as, as the rest of the products really. So with any piece of product design the key consideration is to make sure it's design led and that it actually is aesthetically pleasing first and foremost is the function, so for me things tend to start within the sketchbook, jotting down some ideas, playing with those ideas in a fairly organic way, looking what's out there, looking what we can do better, and uh, from there it follows on to computer generated CADs which we provide to the factories and then samples will start to roll in and we'll see, we'll see what's what. 